Yes! The noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. But we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. <laughs> we still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. I am Groot. Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. So, Mantis. Uh, really? I've got so many questions. You wanted to know if you'd give her your bond? I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of... I'm uh, you, you don't got to apologize, bud. Look, she can get my bomb recipe uh, if she pays for it. Not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Whew, that was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe, and she believed you? Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves? Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Hey, nice Rocket. There, working on something? If I put my weight, I'm my always left working foot, on something. I have much better control over my right hook. People always underestimate proper footing technique. Well, focusing on the upper body alone is the mark of an amateur. Exactly. You're not listening to my tunes? Weight distribution no, is crucial, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player Hot back? Morgoth's Why? You, are correct. you already got music playing. Right. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but. What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skull Suit doesn't show up in time. Nice, what is it? You'll see. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot.
<laughs> he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. What? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gr Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier? <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity! <laughs> <laughs> Gamora <laughs> San Uberi, do you wish to practice hand to hand techniques? It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first, I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? You could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished. A great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we... mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh... Its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and... now there's no Foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4, to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom, and change his destiny. Well, that's... depressing. 
How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Hey, uh, Bug Lady, you see anything about this mission we should know about? I don't see much. Or rather, I see too much. So many realities converging? Does Lady Hellbender ever stand us up? Only in a few versions. Usually when Star Guy does a bad speech. Oh, um, and also in one version where he grabs her butt. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I, uh, don't want to get tired before the real fit. Those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. In retrospect, our team was eclectic on that first mission. I wonder if he knows what it is. He does. Mantis! Groot! Hey! Hey, Star Guy. Uh, shouldn't you be keeping this in the fridge since it came from Maklu? I am Groot. Just like you, Sir Groot. What did he say? Oh, just that with the right care, the plant you gave him can survive pretty much anywhere, even on spaceships. I can see why you'd want plants in space. It's so... Empty? I am Groot. Yes, dark. And gloomy and doomy. Blech. I prefer home to be on the ground. I am Groot. Aww, such a cutie. And if you can't go to your planet, make your planet come to you. Wait, does that make Little Fuzzy your maintenance mammal? Maintenance mammals? There were creatures like Rocket on your home world. Oh, yes. I am Groot. He says there were lots of little furry babies on Tolunia. Tolunia? You know, Planet X. Ah. But Little Fuzzy wasn't one of them. He's one of a kind. The maintenance mammals on Tolunia were servants to Groot's people. Gross. I am Groot. Ah, that's terrible! What? He says the other saplings were big meanies to the maintenance mammals. They'd hurt them. For fun. I am Groot. But Sir Groot says he preferred their company over his people because they were super smart and nice. I am Groot. He says their kindness reminds him of Little Fuzzy. <laughs> really? Rocket? I am Groot. Aw, you big sweetie. He says he couldn't protect his friends on Planet X, but he can protect Rocket. He's lucky to have you, man. Hell, we're all lucky to have you. I... Now hug! Oh, uh... 
Maybe later? What was your home like? You know, before. <laughs> Beautiful. I am he says he wanted to be a forest caretaker, so he could spend time caring for all the wonderful plants that grew there. What stopped you? His dad. Sir Groot's a prince? Just like you, Star Guy. Wait, your dad was a king? A big meanie. He says his dad and the other Arbor Masters were corrupt. They favored the few over the many, and turned sentient mammals into slaves. Why are all dads that happen to be kings always dicks? <sighs> yeah, power sucks. Even the wisest tree and purest water can be poisoned. <sighs> Sir Groot says it's up to us to be the antidote. Gardening helps him find purpose and healing. I get it. My mom loved her garden. Me too. Well, if there's anything I can do to help you with your garden or make the Milano feel more like home, let me know. I am He says thank you, Pete. Sir Groot, I gotta say, I don't know what you told the Katadi Guardians at the cave entrance, but they were very cooperative when I came back with the villagers. <clears throat> wow! Okay! Woo! Harsh words! Now I understand the fear in their branches. Spook them good! Alright, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Look at those things. Our deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? Whispering, anyways. I know they're out 
there, but they can't hear us through the ship's hull. Yet you're still whispering. Because I don't want to be the one to flark it up if they can hear through it. But they can't. Well, certainly if they can hear us. Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknaf 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady's murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosan. That landing base are way in. There's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Fire! Boom! Ha! Got a piece of that guy! That one's toast! Direct hit! Now this is a proper dogfight! Crap! That's a lot of turrets! Kill him or dodge him. We gotta get through there. That's a hit. Try not to get caught, Quill. Trying. This sucks. And we're in. Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes. Sometimes. On. Maybe you should. Two arms! The enemy approaches! Rocket, any side of Warlock? Yeah! My tracker showing gold by the central rock formation! We gotta get out of this hangar! Tell them that! Can you blockers point us to the ritual chamber? Yes! So we get disrupted! Lady Hellbender's entrance was quite the spectacle! Archies must have been praying to escape! Now's your chance, Gamora! To the bomb! These space cranes are unstable! Rocket! We get out of this alive! I'll make you a new one! Throw the 
that, Drax? Don't this one sad. is primed for punishment. Sudden lights out. Keep the herd coming. Hey, Quill, want to see some fireworks? Take heed. This has got my name on it. These space cranes are unstable. We should use that to our advantage. How close are we? Not close! Which is why we need to keep moving! Yeah! They called in the creep police! At least they brought the elevator for us! Seems a good time to shed our guard for the battle ahead. Nope. Never a good time for that. I am Groot. How can you be certain they have not found a way to convert the Warlock? It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. He almost kicked our butts when he was all sad and mopey. Just imagine him glowing with promise power. He would be confused, as I was. Had the Insect Witch not intervened, I would have snapped all of your necks. Starting with the Rodent, because he wields the most firepower. Drax, those are the things you don't say out loud. Noted. I should not expose my strategies. <laughs> Mantis, no spinning! Why is she spinning? Came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Halbender keep most of them busy outside. Hey, we can get through here. Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay. Sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't. Rocket! Do your thing! Run him through! At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano! She's actually an accomplished pilot! Relief didn't shield them from that! Is that what they call a spiritual experience? Danger close, Rocket! Imagine the havoc Lady Hubbard must be freaking outside! Yeah, well, the five of us are doing some pretty good havoc breathing in here. We made another mess. Groot's right. They started it. It's a bit cold. They've got to have janitors. Mantis is still alive. 
Oh, good. Here comes the cleaning crew. The spill is back that way, boys. I do not believe these people are janitors. Incoming attack! <laughs> Expected. Disturbing. 